Okay, I'm at the end of the northern tube in uh, Bertha's Cover K. Kind of an interesting ending. It's just totally blocked, not by rocks, but by gravel. So you'd think I was near an entrance, but yeah, I turned off the light and there's no uh, natural light getting here. So definitely not getting out this way. So I'm gonna go back the way I came. I wanna explore this whole tube. So I came in on the north tube where they split. So I'm gonna go all the way back to where they come together and then do the south tube in a separate video. So I can do the whole thing round trip. Should be fun. Oops. camera down so I can uh, get my backpack on. <sighs> All right. It's a lot easier for me to wear the backpack than to carry it. All right, this place is obstacle course. The floor is very uneven here. Definitely do not recommend this cave for beginning cavers. Probably get yourself lost or something. So this is one of the places where the two tubes connect. Straight ahead is the way out. Over there is the other tube. But I wanna go back and do this tube full round trip. And then I'll do the other tube full round trip. It's a really neat cave. I wanna make sure I see everything I dare. So far there are two parts I skipped because it was too hard. One that was a crawl and one that was a climb. But whatever. What's interesting here, there's a ledge up there, some kind of a nest up there, like pack rats or something have gotten in there. Well, amazing they come this far in the cave. Hmm. Oops, same thing. If you look at most of the floor, it's just rock, but right here, there's one spot of dirt, which means pack rats or something dragged it in. Wow. Pile of breakdown rock in my way. Wow, I want to look at the ceiling here. Look how rough it is. Don't touch that. If you see anything like that, leave it alone because it's very fragile. If you break it off, you're just going to wear it thin and, you know, wear it smooth. It's no point. Try to leave it alone and natural as best you can. That's why the really good case, we try to keep their location a secret because we don't want people to go in there and touch everything, and get their finger oils. Like if you go to limestone cave, they'll tell you, you know, the, the caves are still forming. The salute, the, for, the cave and all the formations, everything is still growing, shrinking, reconfiguring from water or a carbonic acid. If you get your finger oils on it, you'll set it back like a hundred years. It takes that long for oils to wash off in the cave. So obviously nobody's hosing it down with a pressure hose. <laughs> Notice how the floor is flat but rough. It's a little bit rough on the feet. Make sure you have good boots if you're going to go caving. Regular shoes will get torn up with this kind of stuff. So I'm going to... Notice the floor is black to the left, but gray to the right. I don't want to trample that 
white stuff. So I'm gonna go over here to the left, not trample it. I'm not 100% sure, but it's probably mineral deposits. Notice it matches the ceiling, having the same stuff on it. Oops. Interesting. So yeah, best to leave it alone. Okay, here's that rock pile ahead. I have no idea why it's there. But here's another place where the two tubes connect by a crossover passage. I, I lost count of how many crossover passages there are. But yeah, keep my eyes open. But yeah, I'll go back to the where they first split apart and then I'll do the other tube separately. Notice the floor here. It's uneven, but a lot of it's not really breakdown. It's like there was pressure, either pressure below pushing up or the floor collapsed, one of the two. Of course, there's some breakdown rocks too, but you know. Definitely not the easiest cave, especially the entrance, but wow, sure is a fun cave. Although I do like mazes, definitely want to do the catacombs while I'm here. I don't know, the catacombs is a big hard cave. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a video of the whole thing in one setting. I might do the east, you know, one tube, one video, the other tube, another video. See, I do for time. There's so many caves here, I'm gonna run out of time before I do all the caves. <laughs> I didn't necessarily mean to come out here, but somehow I did. We've had this one spot over here is a different shade. Like all along here, there's like a different shade of brown. I don't know if that's a different shade of bacteria or if that's different rock or what. This is all one cave. You'd think it'd be a little bit homogeneous or homogeneous, however you say that. Okay, here's something weird. Oh, I get it. So here, here's another way, side passage. It's pretty small, rough floor and low ceiling. I don't know if this is the first place the two tubes come together or not. <clears throat> Excuse me, I don't want to miss anything, so I'm gonna... Huh. Hmm. I have a bad feeling the other passage is harder, and that's why everybody goes this way. <laughs> I feel a wind, which means there's probably another entrance behind me. At least, well, entrance big enough for air to flow through. Hmm. The battery on this camera. You know what? I think this is the end of this 
where the two came together. So you know what? I'm gonna switch batteries now. Then I'm gonna go back and do that other passage. This to be a good breaking point. All right, hang on. 